Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your favorite host, James. Welcome to a series of uh, Ten Sword tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create an AI video by Ten Sword and using WAN model, and also how to train an AI video model. I know I haven't updated the tutorial of Tensor for a while, but Tensor World doesn't stop because of me. They keep bringing new toys to our community, and uh, let's play around. So first, let's create a video by using Tensor. Question, if you are newbie to Tensor, let me walk you through very quick. And if you are an old Tensword player, please jump to another chapter, okay? All right, for the newcomer, Tensword is an amazing AI platform to generate an image and also video. You don't need to install or deploy any environments to run Stable Diffusion Comfy UI. You can easily play around with Comfy UI, Stable Diffusion, and more. And also train your AI model and earn some money. So the domain is tensort.art and uh, when you type this uh, address, you will see this screen, right? So on our left, we have a menu. So you can check, this is a home. Creation, Spark, Comfy, Hold My Model, Online Training, and also a search bar. So when you click the creation, so this is a creation tab. So here you can easily create an AI image by using all the tools like the text to image or image to image. That really depends on the source that you want to use. And here you can type your prompt. Like here I'm gonna type the cool boy. And here are all the models. So all the models you don't need to download. You just use it. You don't need to spend days after the days to download all the AI models to your computer, but now you can use it all for free. And also you can slide by tabs, like we have uh, SDXL, Mimis, and the exclusive Beauty 3D, 2.5D, Mile uh, Animates, Realistic, anything you name it, and you can find exactly the model that you want. And when you click this little star, and it will be appeared in here, and after that, you just click the select. And now you can play around. You can add a LoRa model, which can allow you to make your needs more uh, specific. And also you can add the control net. So control net is not so complicated in Tensor. So basically you can see the result. You can add a QR code in the image, or you can add a brightness to show some characters, maybe your name, for example. And maybe you can run to change your color or whatsoever. And uh, I will introduce in the next episode, and I already introduced control net in my previous videos. And here we have a settings. So settings in the first row, you can tweak the aspect ratio from here. And here you can tweak anything you name it. And also click here to enable the upscale. So when you enable the upscale and every image that you generated will be double or triple the pixels. That's just amazing. And um, uh, right now I choose to close the upscale and uh, down there we have a more stuff like the layer diffusion and something like that. So if you have any question, if you don't know any details, please, please ask me in the uh, comment zone of this video. I will reply you, I promise that. And uh, here, when you type the prompt, it can be very simple, like the cool boy, or it can be very detailed. But if you don't know how to write the prompt, no, that's okay, it's totally okay. AI is not so complicated. So you can click here. You can use the AI to enhance your uh, prompt. See, from a cool boy to a cool young boy with a relaxed expression, something, something like that. And here you can choose the amount of the image that you want to generate from one to two or four, like me. And then you got the result here. See, I already created many images while I'm talking and they are all very cool boy, right? See? So this is how you generate an image in Tensor. It's very easy. And also you can use image to image or based on this image that you just generated and click this button, you can send it to image to image or upscale to a double or triple pixels or click here, add more detail or enhance anything you name it. Anything you name it in the stable diffusion, you got it in the Tensor. 
Okay, so if you have another image you want to tweak the image or make it different gesture, you can use image to image. But today, we are not going to cover all that. We're going to cover something about video because video is very vivid, very attractive. We'll click here, text to video or image to video, and you're able to select the video models from here. And currently we're select the WAN 2.1, and this is the most advanced video model ever. You just need to upload one image. And uh, what if I want something more than that? So click here, we enable the first and last frame. You can generate one image as a beginning and one image in the end. Then ask AI to make the transition between the two different frame. Okay, so let's upload the first frame. They are all the images I just generated by Tensor. That's quite amazing, right? Click the open and let's upload the last frame. And let's settle the rest. So we are using the stable. And uh, for the resolution, I need uh, this one as a portrait rather than the landscape because I want to upload to the social media like uh, TikTok, right? And for the rest, the duration, so currently five seconds. And we can type the prompt. I really hate the long prompts as no one can remember. And click the generate button. And this is how you generate radio in TensorFlow by WAM latest model. And also you can generate a video by text, of course. And for the text, we have many models here. And also we can use WAN. And let's type the prompt. And let's click the generate button. Now we have our result. We just generated a video that contains with a girl that is dancing. And let's click here to check the detail and click play. Wow, this is nice, right? We can use it to, for the TikTok or for the uh, YouTube shorts. And on a side, you can find the prompts and also negative prompts and uh, every value that generated for this uh, video, you can copy it. If you don't know how to copy, you just click here and click Remix. See, very easy, right? So this is also can help you to regenerate that uh, video or image that you want to recreate again. And just click here, click the Remix, okay? Hey, check it out this. So in the homepage of the Tensor, we can find this big banner that's about the AI video competition. So when you click here, you can check the detail. This is a competition held by Tensor and also Tencent. And here is the event detail. This is about epic battle of the AI video models. If you just followed my tutorial, I believe you already know how to train an AI video model in Tensor, right? So train your own model and join this competition and check out what we can get. I think the reward is very juicy. You can get an RTX and also Nintendo Switch 2, a lifetime pro membership and many more. So what are you waiting for? Just train your own model and join the competition. But if you don't want to join the competition, also I think you can check the uh, competitors and maybe you can find that video model that's really amazing and you can use for your own work. I think this is quite good, right? So nowhere else in this world can find so many video models at the same page. This is quite amazing. Right? All right, this is how you generate uh, AI video in Tensor and also how to train a uh, AI video model right here in Tensor. I hope you like this video. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave your questions in the comment zone. I will reply them one by another. I will see you on the next episode. Don't forget to follow my channel. Bye-bye. Congratulations on watching to the end. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You won't miss out on more great contents. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.